So we're gonna spend a lot of time this semester writing code together. We're also gonna spend time talking, but a lot of our focus is gonna be on figuring out how to express our ideas in the Java programming language. And so as we get started with this, I wanna make something very, very clear, which is that an algorithm is not computer code. Or, or to put it another way, computer code is not an algorithm. An algorithm exists in some abstract space, right? It exists completely divorced from computer code. An algorithm exists in the world regardless of whether there's any computer code that implements that algorithm or not. Um, one easy way to convince yourself of this uh, is to go to, there's this fantastic uh, website, which I'll pull up here so that you guys can check it out. Uh, let's see, I need to fix this. Yeah, so, so this is a website called Rosetta Code. Um, don't let this strange term turn you off, programming Krustamathi. I don't even know what that means. Uh, the idea here is that this site collects solutions to problems. It collects algorithms implemented in many, many, many different programming languages. So let's find one of them. Uh, there's all sorts of different examples of these. Um, so again, here's an example of an algorithm that computes the factors of a positive integer. That's a problem. Like given a positive integer, compute all the factors. Um, there are algorithms for implementing this. Um, and what you can see is that the website contains many, many, many different examples of implementations of those algorithms. So on some level, there might be one algorithm that all of these pieces of code are implementing, okay? So we distinguish between the algorithm, which is the set of steps, and the implementation, which is those set of steps expressed through some programming language. So let's find Java. I'm sure Java's in here. Um, you know, I don't certainly don't expect you to, to understand this, right? Here's some Java code, right? I don't agree with the brace placement in this example. That's okay. Um, and there's a lot in here that you guys won't be familiar with. We will get there, but in the semester, you actually will be able to completely understand this example. Um, but this is this particular algorithm implemented in Java. So this is an implementation of the algorithm. Uh, let's pick another language that people might know. So let's look at Python, right? Here's another implementation. And actually here, there's several different implementations of the same, uh, or maybe several different algorithms actually, uh, but several different ways to solve the problem in Python, right? Um, these look a little different than Java because Python's a different programming language that has different syntax, right? You've got some really, I think I caught a glimpse of, uh, you know, you've got some very, very strange programming languages out there. So here's an example, right? This is code. Uh, it doesn't look anything like the Java code that we're writing right now, uh, but this will solve this. This is an implementation of this algorithm. Um, so something to get straight early on. Algorithm, the set of steps to solve the problem. You can write an algorithm on paper. We won't do that, but you can, or you could write it in a Google Doc or sketch it in text. We will do that as part of developing our solutions to problems. An implementation is actual code. When you see code, you're not looking at an algorithm. You're looking at, at best, the implementation of an algorithm.